Hi there, I'm Doug Gorbath, Senior Product Manager for Imaging Products for Panasonic Canada. And I want to introduce you today to some of the really cool new features that make high definition a term that's really going to become a household word in 2008 in more than just display products. What I have in front of me here is our new HDC SD9 video camcorder. This very compact little product here is a 3CCD, the smallest 3CCD high definition camcorder in the world. And what it does, it takes great video, it uses our advanced optical stabilizer to take the shake out of your video, but what's really impressive about this, other than the fact it's 1920 by 1080, 24 frame per second progressive video, which is incredible, but what's really impressive about it is just how easy it is to use. A lot of people think that as these specifications get higher and the quality gets higher, and we're talking about all these wild and crazy new features, that it's going to get more complicated. Well, I'm going to show you how Panasonic's actually made the opposite come true. And actually, what I want to show you is I'm going to show you through my television. So imagine for a moment I'm in my living room. There's my camcorder sitting there. I take the very same remote control that comes with my plasma TV, and utilizing Viera Link, I can use that remote to just move between video segments. So in this case, I've selected that video segment, and then all I do is I hit the enter button, and there's my video. So you take pictures of the kids, you know, playing or playing hockey, or you take your vacation video, you bring it home, all you do is through your HDMI connection, connect it to your TV, and all of a sudden, without making it more complicated, in fact, it's less complicated, you can watch your videos. Got it. Okay, and what are we doing once we've got these high capacity cards full? That's a, good, a very common question. And what happens there is there's a number of options on what you can do with your video. In the past, a lot of people would load the video on their computer, but for many of us, our computer is in a different room. So once you've started taking off a hard drive or off your memory card or anything and put it on your computer, what it does is, is it changes the way you watch it again. What are you going to take your friends over to watch your computer in a different room? What a lot of people can do now is utilize Panasonic's VWBN1 burner. This burner here is, records onto just a regular DVD that you can buy for a dollar a piece or less. And what's unique about this is it can record both AVCHD high definition video or regular MPEG-2 standard definition video. And that's the same codec that is used on a regular DVD. So it can do standard definition or high definition. And this burner works with any of our standard definition or high definition products that utilize memory cards or hard drive for storage. Doug, do I need a computer to use it? Not at all. What I'm gonna show you right now is my next demonstration is this burner. What I would do to it is I can connect it to my camcorder. So I just plug it right into here by USB and the camcorder recognizes this burner. So now what I want to do is switch you over. Let me just stop the video playback here. I switch over to the display again and notice it's detecting it and it, almost immediately it knows that burner's connected and allows me to burn a disc or play a disc. To play this back, like to play it on your television, you do have to connect it through the camcorder because it's controlled by the camcorder. However, because it's USB, it can also be connected to your computer. So let's say, for example, you made a high-definition video, but maybe the kid's grandmother doesn't have a Blu-ray player to play it back in and just has a regular DVD player. I can use the burner, connect it to my computer, use the supplied software, and convert it to MPEG-2 once again, as I noted, it can do both. Right. So I can convert it down to standard definition and then use the burner to burn a disc and say, here, Grandma, here's you know, Jimmy's hockey game and on a regular DVD. So it's really flexible. Or subsequently, we can we can uh, edit the movie to our liking, absolutely, and then continue to record it into or burn it under high def. Yes, not only can the supplied software uh, convert it, it can also edit it. So you can trim scenes out, put in some titles, and really make a nice little movie out of it, and then copy it in high definition or copy it in standard definition as noted. So you have a few different ways now to play back your high def movies. You can play them off the memory card, as I showed you. You can play them off the burner, or you can play them off a Blu-ray player. And as Blu-ray is becoming more popular, what that'll be really the connection for high definition in the future for most people. Fantastic. And you've just announced a higher capacity SD card. Right. Our 32 gigabyte SD card will be coming out in the next uh, month or two. And you think about a couple of years back when the hard drive camcorder came out and everyone was all excited, I have 30 gigabytes. Well, you're not going to have 32 gigabytes on a card this big. Amazing.
So the days of storage limitations because of the card capacity are pretty much in the past now. Thanks very much, Dick. Thank you.